Life is rough. You gotta take the time to focus on what brings you joy. As the Japanese say, ikigai. Or, what am I nerding out about right now? <laughs> Join us at the gaming table. Or reading nook. To find your happiness. I'm Lainey. I'm Marshall. And this is Elated Geek. A quick aside before we begin the episode proper, uh, we were doing some experimentation with how we were doing this episode, and the audio has some issues. We will be returning to our normal recording methods pretty soon, but in the meantime, please enjoy our TBR list. Hello, Zane friends. I'm Lainey. I am Marshall. And this is our July TBR we haven't done this in a while, but we decided we wanted to come back. That's great. That is great. That's great. I don't know what to say about that. That's... So we are going to tell you what we are planning to read, or at least, you know, maybe reading in the month of July. Let us jump right in. So what are you going to be reading? I've actually kind of got a head start on my TBR. I have a whole lot of books that were kind of in a section of my bookshelf that I was planning on reading. But on my very first day, I read like 545 pages. Yes, he did. All of them were in comic books. I had read Chew, Taster's Choice by John Lyman, Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, and Heroes in Crisis. So these are all graphic novels. And then, other than that, too, we planned to take part in Summerween. By the time that this video is up, Summerween will probably be over. But uh, yes, I also did a head start. I read The Cousins by Karen McManus, and that was my first book. And then for Summerween, I am reading currently My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix, which is basically exactly what it sounds. It takes place in, like, the 80s, 90s, I don't yeah. really know. I think it's 80s vibes, and it's about a girl who becomes possessed, and that's how far I am in that book. So, yeah, it's a good time. Now, okay. Summerween has has a number of prompts that we are trying to fill, and interestingly enough, that fits pretty much all of them. All of them. And if you're interested a little bit more, maybe you want to do this next year, I will leave the link to Gabby's video down below so you can see what Summerween is all about. But other than that, I don't really have any other plans for Summerween unless I pick up another one just randomly, so yeah. For my Summerween, I'm going to be going through two books. One is The Drowning Kind by Jennifer McMahon, and the other one is Sabriel by Garth Nix. Tell us about those books. The Drowning Kind is about a resort with a spring that can grant wishes with a cost, and it mm -hmm. takes place in two different timelines with a mystery of what's really going on here. Sabriel is actually a lot younger of a book than I thought it was. It's actually from the 90s. I'm, I'm surprised, but it's the story of a girl whose father was a necromancer, but the kind of necromancer that goes and finds the zombies and puts them to rest. And apparently all the evil magic is necromancy in this world. So Weird. It, it's actually really interesting and kind of funny. It's very realistic in its magic. Which is kind of it. I, I really liked it. So I'm, I'm interested in seeing how this is going to turn out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, those two will fit most of the prompts. I think our only issue with our prompts is finding a drink or a snack to make. My next book that I'm reading is actually for review, and I got it from NetGalley. I am really well caught up on all of my NetGalley reviews until we get into August. So for July, my last book to read that is coming out July 20th, I want to say, is The Book of Accidents by Chuck Wendig. This is the story of a, a guy who lived in a house in a country with his father, and his father is abusive. And then they, like, move back to the house. And things start happening, and it's like creepy and horror and whatever. So I don't know. I might read this for some Marine. We will see. I might have time. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how that goes. Okay. Then we're diving into physical books that we have on hand that we got to burn through. Yes. And like I said, I've got an area of my bookshelf that I haven't touched in a while. So leading off that charge is Jim Henson's The Labyrinth. And this is a novel adaptation by A.C.H. Smith. And it contains illustrations by Brian Froud, who is the guy who did all those goblin designs back in the original movie. Oh, wow. So I love Brian Froud's stuff. He's got some really fun stuff. Mm -hmm. So before I go into like my other books for uh, like a big challenge that I'm personally doing, I want to tell you about two books that I'm reading that don't really have anything to do with that. 
The first one is Summer of Salt by Katrina Leno. I am reading this book because it is summertime, and I've heard this is a great summer ambiance book. And it's about a couple girls who go to the seaside and they experience the summer of salt. I'm really excited to read this. My next book is Journal 29, an interactive book game by, forgive me if I say this wrong, Demetrius Chassapakis. This is a really interesting, like, code-solving book. Mm. Yes, it is a book. It's also a bunch of puzzles, so it'll probably take me a little longer to get to the end and figure it all out. I would love to know how you do with that. I might also want to read it. That's and cool. there is a second book. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so if we like it, we might go for the second one. The next book that I'm reading is called A Dark and Secret Place by Jen Williams. This came out, I think, in June, and I did get this in a swap from a girl that I know. She got an art copy, which so this is an art copy. But basically, it is the story about a woman who discovers her late mother has been secretly corresponding with a serial killer for decades. I think this sounds really interesting and fun, so I am pretty excited to read this. I haven't read anything by Jen Williams yet, so I am interested to see what kind of a writer she really is. Okay. So, now we're getting into some weirder ones, but this is The Doctor Who's The Secret Lives of Monsters. This is a primarily kind of a picture book, but it contains a lot of like background information on the creation of the Doctor Who episodes throughout the years. Oh, very interesting. This is done by Justin Richards, and I'm kind of interested. It says it also includes removable artwork. For the month of July, I have made it a personal challenge to read as many of my Book of the Month books as I can. I'm not going to share all of them with you. I think I have about 10 to 12, but I will tell you the ones that I am most looking forward to reading and seeing where we go from there. But I need to start off with my number one book of the month book, which is also my number one most anticipated book of 2022. And I cannot wait to read this so much. And of course, Survive the Night by Riley Sager. Marshall's also very excited because I was able to get a copy of it on Libro as well, so he can listen and I can read it. And I am excited. It is the story of a girl who takes a car trip with a guy who might be a serial killer, it goes to her school. So excited. Very much. I have heard people that have read this book already, and they have loved it so much. So I I absolutely, I'm jumping out of my skin to finish <laughs> Summerween so I can pick this up. And again, this is another big one. This is The Incomplete History of Secret Organizations, which is the... No, it's not really a novel. It is the documentation of the series of unfortunate events television show containing a lot of stuff about its props and things like that. Yeah, there's a lot of pictures in these books. I don't care. I read comics, too. So whatever. I feel like we need a better space for our living room so we can actually have coffee table books because we do have some really amazing coffee table books that we can't put anywhere except ourselves, like, up in our second floor, because we don't have room, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. My next book is Half Sip of Shadows. This is by Laura Sebastian. It is a retelling of the Lady of Shalott story. If you don't know, I am actually named Elaine, and so is the Lady of Shalott. So this is kind of a connection there. She has, you know, the hair, same as I have the hair of this color, so I feel like there's a lot of connections of her in this, and I can't wait because there's a whole magical fantasy element to this as well. So I am very excited to read this one too, even though it is a little bit heftier than other books that I'm reading this month. I've had some books that I've read that were in that Arthurian legend area, uh -huh. and I was really, I love those. So I'm really interested in seeing what this is right. really all about, what her story ends up being, because... The original Lady of Shalott story didn't have much going on. Really. No. So then we have Project Hail Mary. This is by Andy Weir. I'm going to be honest, I can't exactly remember what the plot line of this book was going to be, but I don't care. It's Andy Weir. I have loved <laughs> everything that he's done because it's just, it's a good, fun story that is accurate science, and not science fiction, science reality. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's what I just love about these books. And this one is actually more of a mystery thriller set in space. Uh, people who have read it already have said it's fantastic. So I'm actually also excited to read this one this month. I don't know if I'm going to get to it because, uh, again, it is heavy. 
but it will be soon. I will read it. So. My next book is The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. And this book is about a mom and her daughter whose husband disappears. And he basically said one thing, which is protect my daughter. But as they go through certain things in life, she figures out that her husband is not exactly who he says he is. So this one seems a little interesting, kind of mystery thriller-ish to me. So I have heard mixed reviews about this book. I don't know if I will like it, but we will see. And now a little mystery. I'm really excited. This is supposed to be really cute. It's Arsenic and Adobo by Mia P. Menensala. So what happens is there's this girl who has a restaurant and her ex-boyfriend comes in, orders, like, I think it's like jambalaya or something like that, and he is poisoned and dies. And so they suspect her. She did not do it. So who did? And so it's supposed to be this really funny mystery, like one of those, but I just dig the cover. Yeah. That was really what drew me to it anyway. And I was like, all right, I'm done with this. I like okay. I like the cover. That seems fun. That is fun, right? Yeah. And the last one I'm going to for sure try to read is The Bridal Test by Helen Hong. This is the second book in the series. The first one being The Kiss Potion, which I read earlier this year, where the main character is one that has the ability, like she's autistic, but she has the ability to do like statistics very well and project she projects like numbers and that kind of a thing but she's not good with people so in the first book she hired a male escort to be like her boyfriend to teach her how to be a better girlfriend but then ends up falling for him so in the second book i don't i'm not exactly sure what the second book is about but i like the first one so much that i was like i don't care i'm getting it the third one which is like the hard equation comes out sometime this year. So I wanted to read this one before the other one came out just to see if I still like the series. But I really like how the first main character is portrayed in this book because she has, you know, this autistic nature. It is so refreshing to see that portrayed in such an amazing way. I love seeing these main characters and how they're written in such you know, powerful ways that you can really understand what they're going through and how they're overcoming obstacles in their life. So that's another reason why I kind of like this series. So as far as other books, uh, I may read some other book of the month books. I haven't really decided yet. I like to kind of keep it open. I know that Final Girls Club by Grady Hendrix comes out this month. Also, For Your Own Good by Samantha Dowding comes out this month, and I would really like to read that as well. And last month, Hairpin Bridge by Taylor Adams came out. We haven't read that yet. So we'll see if we get our hands on any of these so we can read it this month. Sounds like a lot of fun, actually. Yeah, what are you reading this month? Put it down below or write us an email contact at elatedgeek.com. Give us some recommendations. So thank you for listening to Elated Geek. Follow us on social media for pictures and more info on things we talked about in today's podcast. You can find Lainey on at Zany Laney or me at One True Hazard. You can also find at Elated Geek on our Instagram, and you can also find Elated Geek Tweets on Twitter. If you want to go to a website, we have www.elatedgeek.com. Links for these are in the show notes. If you want to help us to continue to bring you new and exciting things to nerd out about, please consider donating to our coffee account. The link is in the show notes, and every donation is accepted with total appreciation for your support in us. Send us your geek obsessions or topics that you want us to experience and talk about in future episodes. Email us at share at elatedgeek.com. And until next time, geek out.